What's up, everybody? Just a really quick review for you of the Cold Steel Pendleton Hunter. This is a great little three and a half inch blade. We'll look at the sheath here first. We got, I took it off. It comes with two little screws. Comes with a nylon belt loop. Very large. You get a full size gun belt on there, no problem. Really nice, strong nylon that's built into this little uh, screw, two sets of screws that'll screw into three different places along the sheath itself. Uh, but the nylon is very strong. Got a really nice button clasp here. Clicks right in, holds it very, holds the knife very strongly, and has a button and Velcro loop here, so you can put this on your belt without uh, taking your belt off. So that's a really nice added feature. So if you are carrying it just around your belt, this is great, great little setup that this particular knife has. I like it a lot. I took it off and I run paracord through there like this, so I can carry it along the small of my back like that. So uh, paracord will fit through here if you gut it out and pull it out, but you got um, plenty of eyelets all through here that you can weave different not paracord through and carry it in different ways, strap it to a pack. They call this their Secure X Sheath. It's basically like a Crydex sheath. Um, little bit of rattle. I've had this now for about six months or so. A little bit of rattle, taking it in and out a lot. It's really stiff when you first purchase it. It, it, um, it loosens up a little bit over time so that you can push it out without too much effort. You can still see I'm still kind of pushing with it. Sheath comes off right there, but that's a very uh, heavy duty, good quality sheath. No complaints there. Three and a half inch blade. That's the main reason I bought it so I can carry it on me every day uh, in, in the state of Colorado. You have to have a three and a half inch or under blade um, on your person if it uh, otherwise it, if it's not um, if it's concealed in any way. So I can put this in my pack and I'm not worried about getting arrested or anything. What's awesome is the thickness of the blade. We're looking at a three sixteenths inch blade for such a small knife. So I mean it's huge honking blade um, thickness there to a really nice point right there, but it's not weak at all. Uh, with a really nice belly uh, of this knife to a spear point, drop point type of um, blade. You got a hollow grind. I've done a lot of wood processing with this particular blade and uh, I haven't had any dulling on, on it so far because of the VG1 steel, which is great steel. I love that VG1, awesome. I was a little leery of the hollow grind Ford more of a like a bu small bush knife or if I had to, you know, a tactical type of knife. This is on me every day. I take it with me everywhere. And uh, I have no complaints with that. This VG1 steel is amazing. No rust, nothing like that. So great overall blade, full tang, very beefy, really nice um, Kraton handle. Uh, I wear large size gloves, fits my hand, no problem with plenty of room to spare. Really nice large hand lanyard hole you can get paracord through. Nice finger guard there. No jimping, but the, the handle texture itself is just really good. You can see all that checkering there and uh, ribbing along the back spine and stuff. Very good there. No problems whatsoever. So you can get really good purchase on your knife. If you are using this in hunting, you know, you're gutting an animal, this is a great three and a half inch blade. Or if you're looking for just a, in my position, you wanted a small bush slash tactical EDC blade. Um, this is a great blade to have. No complaints whatsoever. Uh, weight, your look, uh, overall length, I believe is like eight and a half inches. It does have a long handle on it, which can thick, So it can kind of get a little bulky at times. Um, but overall, no complaints with this blade at all. Three and a half inch, like I said. Um, and what was the last spec I was going to give you? Oh, uh, 5.8 ounces uh, total with the sheath carry, I believe. So it's a little bit on the beefy side for a three and a half inch fixed blade, but no complaints and definitely worth the price. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Again, the Cold Steel Pendleton Hunter VG1. Thanks for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared. I'll see you out there.